Nevada Contractor License. You need to have a license provided by the Nevada State Contractors Board if you are a business or an individual and you construct or alter any. Building. Highway. Road. Parking facility. Railroad. Excavation. Or other structure. To be able to apply for a contractor's license in Nevada, you need to meet these requirements. You must be at least 18 years or older. At least four years before applying for a license, you must work either as journeyman, foreman, contractor, or supervisor. In Nevada, there are three various classes of a contractor license. It depends on trade or specialty. Here are the classes. Class A, General Engineering Contractor License. This classification is more for people who have specific engineering education. It is more on the technical side. Class B, General Building Contractor License. This classification combines in it all the common works that general contractors do, including construction, altering, repairs, and more. Class C, Specialty Contractor License. This one is for specific areas like pool repairs, recycling asphalt, and industrial piping. In Nevada, there are more than 35 different specialties. Let's figure out what qualifications you need to apply for a contractor license. You must take a CMS exam. You must take a trade exam. You need to provide a financial statement. For each year of your work experience, you need to submit one certificate. You need to provide fingerprints. If you are going to work on residential properties, you need to donate money to a residential recovery fund. You must pay a $300 application fee, non-refundable. If your license is approved, every other year, you will need to pay $600. Before applying for a license, you need to register your business with the Nevada Secretary of State. In order to apply for a contractor's license, you need to save your Nevada business ID. You can register as an LLC, LLP, Corporation, Sole Proprietor. Submit your application with the required documentation. Be ready to provide information like the license classification that you have chosen, the names of your employees if you have any, fingerprints for background check. A financial statement. The final step is an exam. Prepare for it and schedule your contractor's exam. 